Working with Zurb Foundation in CodeKit is stupid easy. To start a new foundation project, all I need to do is go to File, New Zurb Foundation Project. A window comes up asking me where I want to create the project. I'll create a new folder on my desktop named Zurb, click Create, and then Choose. CodeKit automatically adds that folder to the app as a project and opens the Zurb Foundation category of project settings. Here I can choose which foundation template I want to install, 6 or the Legacy 5 releases. There's no reason to use 5 for new projects, so I'll go with 6. And then it's just one click, install foundation. Behind the scenes, CodeKit clones foundation's Git repository into this project folder, then uses Bower to pull down required assets, and compiles necessary files. Here I'm seeing some syntax issues in JavaScript files along the way. If I switch back to my files list, I'll see that all of Zurb Foundation's components are right here in my project folder. And if I click preview, here's the starting page, and I'm ready to get to work. Once Foundation is installed, I can update it down the road by visiting the assets area of the CodeKit window. Here, I'll select the installed category from the scope popover to show only the packages installed in my Zurb Foundation project. That's Foundation Sites itself from Zurb, along with its dependencies, jQuery, Motion UI, and what input. Here I see that I'm on the latest release. Notice that what input says 2.0.1 is installed, but the latest is 4.0.1. Even if I try to update this dependency, Bower won't install the latest version because Foundation itself has told Bower, hey, 2.0.1 is the latest version that I've tested. Don't go beyond that. Sometimes when you work with dependencies, you'll see this happen. 